If you really don't want to do much for your lawn, there's different grasses you should pick that take less care. If you really want to invest a fair amount of energy in your lawn, then you pick different grasses that will require a little more mowing, watering, and fertilizing. So you have to set your expectations and then recognize what you're willing to do to get that lawn. The four main grass species that we have, Kentucky bluegrass, perennial ryegrass, tall fescue, and the fine fescues. Kentucky bluegrass is generally a higher maintenance grass than some of the others, has a higher nitrogen requirement. And, and one of the disadvantages of Kentucky bluegrass when you're seeding is that it's very slow to germinate from seed. Perennial ryegrass needs full sun. It germinates quicker than any of the other cool season grasses. So for repairing a bare spot perennial ryegrass, if you're in full sun, is a good choice. This is the one that's going to give you uh, cover uh, the quickest. Tall fescue likes the sun. It does have some moderate shade tolerance. One of the nice things about tall fescue, it is the most heat and drought tolerant of our cool season grasses. So if, if you don't ever plan to water your lawn or if your lawn is in full sun or perhaps you have a, a sandy soil that doesn't retain water, uh, you may want to consider tall fescue. If you've got moderate shade or kind of filtered, filtered shade in parts of your lawn where you want to have grass, fine fescues would be the, the grass to try. Make sure to read the label. A lot of the cheap seed mixes will include a, a big proportion, sometimes 90% of annual ryegrass rather than perennial. Make sure that you've got perennial ryegrass and not annual ryegrass. The other thing, avoid mixes where the variety is not stated. The work that you need to put into it to seed an area is the same whether you use a, a good mix or a bad mix. So take the time and read the label and make sure that you're uh, getting the best value for your dollar.